All right, I'm back in the Three Maples shop, and today we're sharpening planer blades on a bridge port. I have a uh, surface grinder, but it's not long enough. This is a 16 and a quarter inch blade. My surface grinder will only do about 12 inches, so uh, we're going to do it on a bridge port. All right, here's the setup. We have two identical Kurt vices. They're both six inch Kurtz, um, and I've, I've set this up to run between these two vices. With the dial indicator, I'm less than a half a thousandths off from one end of this to the other. The other thing is, uh, the, these Kurt vices are so accurate, I've just got a couple of precision parallels underneath to hold this blade up, and it actually is within a half a thousandths uh, one end to the other on top, so that's perfect. Alright, so I've got a a small one inch stone in a quarter inch Albert's chuck so it's a real precision setup and this stone is uh, profiled with a diamond to be a 10 degree bevel on it. So here's the setup. Like I said before I've got two Kurt vices. Here's the, the uh, cutter wheel and a, a quarter inch Albert's chuck. And this is just a from a die grinder that's, that has been uh, profiled to 10 degrees like this because this this particular blade I've got in there is, is a 55 degree angle on the cutting edge so I get 45 on the bridge port and 10 on the cutter to make that happen. We've got a cold gun that I'm going to run the whole time and uh, I'm taking a little over a thousandth at a time off. It doesn't sound like much but it's enough and if you go any more you're going to burn it. Lots of oil and so we're going to just run a cut and uh, I'm on the final one, so this will be the end of it. So I've got the cross table lock on because I don't want this table to move and I want to be able to very precisely get about a thousandths or maybe 1.2. And so we're going to set that just ever so slightly. It's two tenths, eight tenths, there's a thousandths, it's about what I want. 1.2 thousandths. So let's roll it and uh, we'll see how it comes out. So I'm going to start my three-phase converter. It's a homemade converter that, with an auto start feature in it that I put in. And uh, start the motor and start the uh, cold gun. And once I do that, then you won't hear me talking anymore. Here we go. The last step I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch it up on this stone a little bit. This one really doesn't need it, but it'll put the finishing touches. It's got one notch and it's pretty deep, so I get most of it out, and uh, I think I'm going to call that good enough. Doesn't need much. Probably doesn't need anything actually, but I like to do it. There it is.